Welcome to Big D, Dallas, Texas, and the house the Pony Express built. Dickerson and James and SMU hoping to restore the glory and get things started in this one. Today, a couple of teams getting set to square off in an ACC battle. As we'll see, the Syracuse Orange taking on the SMU Mustangs. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Syracuse will kick off and we'll be underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So SMU's offense will start this game off. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. After picking up a couple at second and eight, From the gun, the give, looking for room. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Third down, and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving. Looking to pass. It's Stone. Working the middle. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Leaves it with the running back. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. They move the tight end all over. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the defense came into this game ready for the quarterback option, and everyone played their assignment. They forced the quarterback to keep it. They rallied to him, made a tackle. Nice job early in this game playing good assignment football. Here comes the offense on second down. On the ground with the counter. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Sides trying to find a little rhythm and efficiency and move the ball some here as we start the second quarter. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. The Mustangs will bring the punt team onto the field. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. So the Syracuse Orange will go on offense for the first time. 
Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Line getting set on second down. Wants to throw. It's McCord. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Got it in the middle, it's Pena. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Yeah, when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He's going to pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Gadsden. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. The throw to the outside is complete. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Here on third down for this offense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. They've got the screen set up. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Great job, too, by the QB there holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guy so that he can go get the first down. Syracuse ready to go to work with another first down. He wants to throw it again. Got a man. It's Ross Simmons. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. Ball in plus territory. First and ten under a minute to go. We might get a touchdown before halftime. He wants to throw. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback goes down. There is a penalty flag on the field, but I think the defense might have the option just to take this play. They'll decline that penalty, obviously very happy with the results of the play. Looking for a man. It's McCord. And it's incomplete, but the penalty flag has fallen in the holding zone. Let's see what the call is. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. This one's complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Hold it, hold it, hold it, offense, offense. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Wants to fire on second down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. 
You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Got a man, it's Haynes. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage oh, oh, there. Oh, 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 oh. They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And this one splits the uprights. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee, and they'll bring it to the 25. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Maryland. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Good timing on the quick out. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Scanning the field, it's Stone. Connection to the right. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. Oh, he missed it. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. SMU, zero. Under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half. As expected, they're content to run out the clock and go into halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Dallas to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Gerald J. Ford Stadium. Syracuse has it teed up, ready to kick off and start this second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. They'll open the second half with a run. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. The give from the gun. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again.
trying to impose their will with the run. He slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. It's McCord. Get it out on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Syracuse will be forced to punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. No return coming here as he signals for the fair catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, and something can start to build. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Guys, we're at the end of the quarter, and Syracuse has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative. Whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, and defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run out the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. They got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game. So I got to get my guys physical, ready to roll. Yeah, because you know this defense is going to be playing the run. They're going to be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back. So this is going to come down to who's better in the trenches. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. This third down play might be the last chance for this defense to stay in the game. Off the RPO, fire right, trying to convert. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. They're looking for an advantage to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. I think they'd keep it on the ground here to drain as much time as possible off that clock and hold on to this lead. 
And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Using his legs, it's Allen. At the 20, he's got space. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up it, up it. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Looks as if he'll work his way forward and get it up to about the 11-yard line. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this, stay on the field, keep leading the clock. But the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here, trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. Give to the running back. And the runner is down, and so is a flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and up and So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense declines and stands on the resulting play. Syracuse will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. Remember, all they have to do is get it close enough for a field goal here. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Floats it out in space. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and up and up. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Offense set on first down. Back to throw. It's Stone. Right down the middle. Got him downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks here hesitate to throw the ball. You know, I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. And they got to the line expeditiously. Spiked it and stopped the clock. It's now second down. So now we'll line up for one of the biggest kicks of this game. Defense gets the timeout call. 20 seconds left on the clock. And this one to bring us to a deadlock in the final moments. And the field goal unit is on the field. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Man, that is a massive field goal. So much pressure on him. With just a couple seconds left here in the game, he knocks it through the uprights. It looks like this thing's going into overtime, as long as your defense is not completely screwed. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. From the gun, the ground game. Never underestimate the power of moving forward and creating breathing room as they mark it at the 17. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We're headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football and finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? 
All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, in, in the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. Makes the grab. It's Pena. Syracuse doing business in the red zone. They'll try the run. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. To the air, it's McCord. Quickly complete. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. First and goal as they try to jump on top here in overtime. With the run on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find its way to the goal line. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. Field is condensed. Not a lot of room to work with here on third and goal in overtime. Wants to throw for it on third and goal. Got it! And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. So they'll send out the field goal team to try to take the lead here in overtime. And he missed it. No good. Field goal attempt is no good. It is a devastating blow to not come away with points here in overtime. First down, and they'll win it with any kind of score here in overtime. They go to the ground. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Now the offense trying to operate in the red zone. Looking to throw at Stone. Gets it out fast. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. First and goal. They must protect the football here. They're already well within range of a game-winning field goal attempt. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Second and goal for this offense. They'll run the option. And he never had a chance to get the pitch off on the option as he's tackled in the backfield.
a critical third and goal here, and you have to think they're getting the ball in position to try that game-winning field goal. Fires to the end zone. He's in! A game-winning touchdown in overtime! And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because 